anybody to run over me or hurt me or anything what we're doing we all of us we are professional network marketers mm -hmm. okay and so uh, I'm super MLM man I just made that up that I'm super MLM man and I've, I've been doing this around the country Honolulu state of Washington we interview people to get their perspective on our business model because most people think it's a pyramid scheme okay and they don't like the way they've been recruited mm -hmm and um, they don't like the meetings and they don't like the bait and switch and they don't like the exaggeration and right. they don't like all of that. So I produce these on-street interviews and then I air them to everybody in our profession. And so we use these videos to let them know how the world sees us because most of the people in our profession for the last 60 years, the way they recruit is by overselling and underdelivering. How are you doing? Good, how about you? Where are you guys uh, first time in Vegas? Awesome. Hey, you guys have a good time. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think the products are good. I'm not a big fan of getting involved in that sort yes. of, I don't want to say scheme. Scheme? But, but you just said scheme. I will say it. <laughs> so do you think they're Very pyramid bad. schemes? Yes. Yes. Is that a bad thing? It, it conjures up sort of a negative like illegal or immoral? Not illegal. Just immoral? You know, is this immoral? <laughs> ah, depends on your perspective. Yeah, it's a, there's a, there's a great, yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Red Deer. Canada. Red Deer, Alberta. Yeah, Red Deer, Alberta. Esteban, Saskatchewan. Awesome. You know a guy named Adam Green? No, am I supposed to? No, I'm just, just oh, okay. you know, kind of about your age. He lives in Red Deer. Oh, okay. I'm a golf pro. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> and? A maintenance service worker. Have you ever heard of the business model or the income opportunity, make money kind of thing, called network or multi-level marketing? Uh, multi-level marketing. I've yeah. heard of that, yeah. You heard of it? No. Any companies come to mind? Not really, no. Has no. anybody ever tried to recruit you into to sell any of those things? World Financial Group would be one of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and did you say yes or no? No. And said no. what was it about the opportunity that had you say no? Uh, the whole thing, basically. Well, it was just wasn't my fit. <laughs> I already have four wives. Oh, you don't mind being don't number know. five. <laughs> have you ever heard of the income opportunity where you can make money uh, or business model called network or multi-level marketing? Yep. What companies come to mind? Um, oh, Amway. Amway. That's you're on the right track. Yeah. Keep going. USANA. USANA. Yeah. Excellent. Avon. Avon is one. Have you ever heard of that concept? No. Never heard of that concept <laughs> no. at all. He's sheltered. Have you ever heard of that concept? I have heard of the concept, but I can't think of any other than uh, Monavib. Monavib. What companies have you done a home party for? Alouette. Alouette. Yeah. And Tupperware. Tupperware. Fantasia. Fantasia. <laughs> Pamper Chef. But none of you have ever been a distributor for any of those companies? Nope. Have people tried to get you to be a distributor? Yep. Any companies come to mind that they've tried to get you in? Pamper Chef. And what did they say to you to try to get you to be a distributor? Well, because I use all their products, I know that they're they're good products, so, so I'd be the perfect candidate to sell them. So what was it about the opportunity that you said no? That's not my kind of thing. <laughs> what, it, what kind of thing is, what about it is? Sales. What about sales? 
I'm not a pushy person. <laughs> you're not a pushy person. No, are you trying passive. to sell? Are you trying to sell me right now? And you're not a pushy person. You're trying to push me to push you. <laughs> I love that. You ever been recruited to be one? No. Nobody's ever tried to recruit yes. you. Oh, they have. Yes. What companies tried to recruit you? Usana. And how did they try to do it? You can make lots of money and not much work, but it, obviously it, it is. It takes work to build any business. So but they that, said it didn't take much work? Yeah, it was kind of like it just falls together. and it Falls together. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a job and I I like just having a paycheck come in and not working that hard for it. <laughs> I understand. This guy's sharp, super sharp. Got a, got a coat on. Where are you going? Hey, I'm Superman. This is an interview about a particular business or income opportunity model called network or multi-level marketing. Have you ever heard of that? Is that anything like a pyramid scheme? Yeah, it could be. Some people associate them like that. Okay. Have you I've heard, heard of, of them, usually in a negative connotation, to yeah. be honest. Any companies come to mind? Not off the top of my head. Any but... particular products come to mind? Uh, yeah, my mom got tied in with uh, Prime One. It was some sort of herbal health supplement thing that she did for a while. Yeah. She never made any money on it, but some people I know claim they did. I know a lot of people claim they got themselves ripped off. So yeah, got themselves works both off. ways off, I suppose. Has anybody ever tried to get you to do one of those? One or two, and I told them to go to. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel about their approach? Like what they said to you? Uh, I felt like they were trying to sell me on something. Which, if something's actually beneficial to me, I don't think it should ha you should have to sell it. Uh, how how it would you know? How would you know to buy it? Well. I like to be an informed consumer, read the information, and see what happens. And you know, make my own decision. Got when it. someone has to, feels, I feels like someone's pressing me hard for something that's supposedly good for me, yeah. I get very suspicious. Uh huh. So the times that you've been approached, did you feel like people were pressuring you or heavily? And were they lying to you? Do you think? Probably blowing the truth out of proportion. Do you think there's any of these companies or products that are actually worthwhile at all? Maybe even a few. I'm sure there are, like anything else, there's a few uh, good companies, there's a few bad companies. Unfortunately, sometimes rotten apples ruin the whole bunch. Other times, there's a lot of rotten apples, but if you dig deep enough, you get a diamond in the rough. And what I want to ask you is if you've ever heard of the concept of network or multi-level marketing. Yes, networking. And any companies come to mind? To yes, mind? Primerica. Primerica. Mm -hmm. Any others? Like uh, ACN? ACN, or? yes. Okay. Yeah, she's the brains of the network. She, she, I'm just a good looker. You are a good yeah. looker. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever done one of those things? No. Have people tried to get you to do one? Yes. And what did they say to try to get you to do one? The residual, the residual income thing was a big thing. They tried to really push to get to get me to do it. Did they uh, get you to understand what residual income is? Yes. And so did do you have is that thing, something you think you would be interested in ever? Or? No, I'm not one to, you know, ask people to spend their money. It's very hard to go up to people and try to get them to buy into, you know, your whole business, your whole situation and the upfront costs are kind of alarming too because the presentation is so good. And then they tell you, oh, well, only $500 down and we'll get you started. And you're like, hold oh, on, I sat here for a whole hour and I gotta give you $500? Like, that's not cool. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Fort Lauderdale in Italy. And you, you're meeting in Las Vegas. Is this a secret? No, no. Kind of. <laughs> kind of a secret. <laughs> well, no one will know because this doesn't, I mean, we're not. What's happening in uh, Las Vegas in Las Vegas? Yeah, except for the. Camera for the national uh, yeah, TV yeah. <laughs> USA Today. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever heard of like Herbalife or New Skin or oh, Amway? Amway or, yeah. So you've heard of those companies? Yes. What do you think That's of them? A pyramid. A pyramid. Right. Oh, well, it, it might be. I don't know. <laughs> so, but you you said it's a pyramid. How do you know that? What do you know about pyramids? Uh, just. But I've heard about them. Does that make people them, have been in them? And it's just a way to make money. Is it a good way to make money, no, or it's not. it's not a good way to make? I have you not. ever been prospected to be in one of those companies? Yes, and I have not. Done and you had never joined? No. Did you like the way you were prospected? Uh, yeah, but I didn't believe it. it you was, didn't believe yeah. it. So, so did you feel pressured, or did you feel a lied bit, to? Yeah. Did you yes. feel lied to? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what's the one that people avoid when they Amway. the uh, Amway? Amway or that's Amway. the only one. But I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the same thing. It is the same thing. Have you ever done any of those kind of things? No. No. 
Have you ever been approached to do those kind of things by people? Somebody asked you to come to a meeting or they wanted you to sell a product or recruit people with them? Maybe Rodan and Fields? Yeah, that's one. Okay. And so did you say yes? <laughs> no. And how did you like the approach, what they said to you to entice you? It was fine. It, it was. was good. Mm -hmm. Did you try the products? Uh, actually, he tried some of the products. You tried <laughs> she some She tried them on me. <laughs> you I tried some know. Rodan and Fields products. I, I guess what she says I did. I did. <laughs> so you tried the products, you liked the products, but you weren't interested? My daughter was using, using the products mostly. Is she still using them? No. Okay. But there wasn't any interest in the income opportunity? No. Not for was me. There, was there something about it that had you not be interested in it? Like, did you not want Rodan and Fields to send you a check for $3,000 every month? No. Can I answer that? Yeah. <laughs> you, no. you want Rodan and Fields to send her a check for three? Because they will. Rodan and Fields will send her a check for three grand every month. But she's got to put in the work. They oh, yes. Send, yeah. I forgot to mention yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So does that exchange not interest you working for extra money? No, it does. Maybe just not in that aspect. What is it about the aspect that's not appealing? I don't like having to push a product on somebody. We have a friend who sells it, and I don't think she's ob um, obtrusive or like no. pushy or anything. No, she's not. Yeah. So you like not. the way your friend sells Rodan and Fields? Yeah, I guess so. Could you do it that way? I guess I could. So if you use the product, which I understand he's only used it, <laughs> and your daughters use it, you've somehow creatively avoided using that product. <laughs> but if you used it, and by some miracle, mm -hmm. you said, this is the best skincare I've ever used. Right. Could you see yourself maybe doing it the way your friend does it? Possibly. I mean, you're gonna tell people about it anyway, aren't you? If I really like it, yeah. Whether you, whether Rodana feels pays you or not, you're gonna tell people. Right. So would you rather get paid or not get paid? Uh, I guess get paid. <laughs> If I have a choice. <laughs> you have a choice. You always have a choice. <laughs> have you ever heard of any companies like Herbalife or Amway or New Skin or Mary Kay or Arbonne or Stella and Dot or Forever Living Products or Send Out Cards or Yeah, we've heard of some of those. Oh, you yeah, heard of some yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. So, have you ever participated in any of those? Nope, no. Anybody ever tried to get you to do one of those? Yes. Oh, they have. Yeah. But join the scheme instead of working for them. Join the scheme. Yeah. And so what did they say to you to try to get you to join the scheme? Uh, just trying to promote how good it was, what you can get out of it, and it was like a health one, so it's kind of like you'll look great in like a week and, in a week. and stuff like that. So, and did you believe them? Nope. Not at all? No. Nope. And how did you feel about the way they approached you and what they said? Uh, they try to sell you a concept that's not really real, and they try to base it on themselves to say they've only done it for a week themselves when they've been working for them for the past year or so. Probably. So you think they're actually lying to you at times? I say stretching the truth more than lying. Anybody tried to get you to do them? Yes, plenty of times. And any companies come to mind? Uh, probably Herbal Life is one of them. Okay. And when these companies approach you and the distributors say what they say, what have they said to you? They try and get uh, you to do some things so they can uh, check your body fat, you know. Cause check your body fat. Yeah, yeah, just do some diagnostics yeah. on yourself. So, and then they recommend a product to you. And how, do you, how have you felt about those approaches? Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> At all. Okay. I got my eye on this guy. He's like trying to avoid me. I know. You know, if you don't make eye contact, maybe he won't say anything to you. <laughs> it's not a bad thing for a lot of people to get started in. Okay. Have you ever done it? Uh, five years in Amway Distributor. Five years in Amway mm -hmm. Distributor? Yeah. Both of you? No, no, no. This is before. Before we met. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> and how was that for you? Uh, actually, I learned a great deal. It was good. I made money and I ended up selling it uh, to another distributor so I could enter into another business which I started with the money I made at Amway. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Can you, would you mind taking a little survey? Sure. What we want to know is, you know, have you ever heard of a business model called network or multi-level marketing? I've heard of it. You have heard of yeah. it? Yeah. Have you ever done it? Yeah, I've done it. Really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, when you did it, was it like, did you have any success or was yeah, it? Yeah, I've had some success with it. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you recruit some people on your team? A few, yeah. Really? Have, how, uh, many, how many do you have on your team? Uh, I think 150,000. 150,000 150, <laughs> yeah, people? Yeah, 150,000. 
Mm -hmm. So you've more than just heard of network marketing. Well, I've heard of it. I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. It's done, how, yeah. How long have you been doing it? Um, 30, well, 30 some years. So, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> have you ever heard of this book? The four-year career? Yeah, I'm in it. You're in this I'm book? I'm in that book. You are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And uh, so what's your name? Jordan Adler. Your name's Jordan Adler. Yeah. Did you, you write Beach Money? I wrote Beach Money. <laughs> what company did you build 150,000 people in? A company called Send Out Cards. Have you heard of it? I have heard of it. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> I'm a customer in Send what? Out. What? Are you I, kidding I, me? I am a customer. I what sent are the 200, chances? I sent 250 Christmas cards out last how year. Is, how did this happen? I don't know. We're we in were Las meant, Vegas. We were meant to meet out we here. We were yes, meant to meet, we buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It is probably no surprise to you the responses even super MLM man gets to asking people about what we do. They do not understand the term network marketing, MLM, or direct sales. They do think they understand what a pyramid scheme is. Unfortunately, they are so misinformed. Added to how people perceive what we do is the challenge of how we have done it for almost 70 years. Hype, mystery, avoidance, fear of loss, ridiculous claims, and downright lying to people has added to people's perception that they do not want to do what we do. But still, millions of people join the ranks of network marketing every year. There must be something about what we do that they love. There is. Lots of things. The same things that attracted you. So how do we educate people? Show them what is possible. Show them how we can do it in a way that's fun, honorable, authentic, and trustworthy. At Bliss Business, we call it the authentic networker. We teach and model states of being and philosophies that are highly attractive. States of being like being curious about other people, whether they are a candidate for our business or not. Being present for people when they are talking, no matter how many thoughts are running through our mind honoring people's opinions and decisions instead of arguing with them, trusting trust as our primary strategy versus manipulation and typical sales stuff, and most importantly, just keeping it real, keeping us real. Authenticity is our secret sauce, and it is so simple and easy to be authentic. All you have to do is trust it. I've dedicated my life to educating the public on the epic and potent possibilities of building an asset income in network marketing, and most importantly, to teach network marketers how to do it in a way that leaves a positive impression in the minds of our market. Join me in this crusade to change the way network marketers network and market. Read the four-year career, share it, and go to school on The Authentic Network Marketer.